What's up boys, MKTV here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video. Today boys, I just want to give a quick announcement, um, thanks so much for recently on the videos and streams, been absolutely smashing it boys, keep it going, um, as I said, the road to 600 subs now, so yeah, thanks so much every single one of you boys, um, and yeah, basically getting into today's video, we do have a sniping, um, basically sniping icons, how to get icons, bidding on icons, all that good stuff, um, when it comes to trading with icons, um, and yeah, basically I'm going to give an in-depth tutorial on how you can kind of get them at the best prices, ways to kind of snipe them, ways to bid on them, Things like that, but um, if you do enjoy, like and subscribe would mean a lot, boys. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So this boys, getting straight into it. Um, we are going to be doing sniping um and bidding, all that good stuff, really with icons. Um, but yeah, without from the bottom of my heart, boys, thanks so much for the support recently. Been absolutely insane. But yeah, starting off things, boys. The basic methods is going to be bidding um and sniping. We're going to start with a sniping one. It is going to be basically um the max price you want on them. You want to get this as high as possible. So if you can get eighty k out of this, absolutely fantastic. And then depend on your budget. Say you had a 185k budget, just a random estimate or whatever. But um, it exactly just absolutely any budget or whatever your budget is. Put it in the max buy now down the bottom of the screen. Um, as you can see there. Then up the top, the second one, max price. You want to put that as high as possible. Um, towards that 180k or whatever. But yeah, you want to go all the way through, boys. See them. Um, all the icons and stuff that are there popping up again. Absolutely all of them will make profit for you and stuff as well. This is where we'll get a bit tricky, boys. 66k on a Clivert, 75 on a Nakata. Um, 65 and a half on a Crespo, which is a bit annoying. 69 on a Skulls, um, 79 on a Cat as well. And yeah, then you want to find after the hour mark. This is the most important thing when you're coming to sniping icons and stuff. Towards the um, end of this, after the seven, one hour mark. Sorry, I'm explaining this really wrong. But at the end of the mark, um, the hour mark, you want to see one card after that. But um, at the moment, as you can see here, there's about five. Um, so we need to get this down. This is what I'm saying. You want this as high as possible, but it will not be possible um, to have it at 80k or whatever. 65 um 66 we've seen a crespo ad as well which is pretty decent but um you want one after the hour mark like this this is absolutely perfect boys having the crespo there again depending on the when you're watching this video um depending on when you're trying the videos depending on what um console you're on and stuff as well or um pc whatever depending on what platform you're on it will depend on um that as well it will change um different times of the day and stuff as well um will change this as well but yeah crespo there at 65k you want to literally be pressing x on the controller <laughs> Sorry, get that into focus. X and controller, um, back out, X and B, um, so square and circle, I think it is. And yeah, you'll see a deco pop up here for 85k. And again, that isn't really a good um snipe and stuff as well. You have to do the maths inside your head and stuff as well. Um, or even on a calculator, get your phone in hand, um, just work up the tax for most things. Once you get to like 100k or whatever, it could be 5k tax. Depends on kind of the cards and stuff as well. But um, yeah, that's basically the method of it. I'm gonna just I won't have enough coins, obviously 34k, getting ready for team of the year. But um, basically XB or circle and square um, back out. K keep going. This is a compare price method. This is the first method. Um, it is really really effective as well. I really really like this method. Um, it does. I've bought a few cards as well. I bought a Puyall. I remember a few weeks ago as well for like really really cheap. But um, yeah, just basically do this method. Um, this is the first method you can kind of snipe icons at. Um, we'll get into some bidding ones as well and stuff. But yeah, that's the first method, boys. So yes, that was the first method, which was the compare price method. Remember that, boys. Um, but yeah, getting into the second method, it is going to be putting on the icon filter again. Then you're literally going to be putting here the max price of 15 million. Um, and then go down by two each time to avoid getting banned. If you haven't seen any other videos on that as well and stuff, um, just, yeah, go down by two to kind of decrease the chance of getting banned and stuff. Um, and yeah, then you put in your budget. So say you had um, 500k, for instance. If you had 500k exactly, you go in, you put your 500k there on that, and then you buy. Literally, you can put in that and keep going down by two each time until you find the right thing. You can also narrow them down if you wanted a Spanish icon um, to try and snipe them. You can definitely put it, go ahead and put in the Spanish icon. Um, but yeah, you basically just want to be doing this as well. 500k. Um, and yeah, just kind of sniping them and stuff as well. You will. This will be. Um, this is a bit of a worse method in my opinion, but it's still a valuable method. Um, it is works as well and stuff as well, depending on what you are kind of looking for. Um, again, if you put less than 500k on it, it will probably be a better option for you. But um, nonetheless, you just keep going to the end um, towards here. Um, until the 50th minute mark, 60th minute mark. See what's there. If you see something for decent price as well, go ahead, snipe it up as well. Um, but yeah, always do the maths, boys, as well. Have um, your PC or your computer, whatever, beside you as well. Your phone, and it all. Just work out the tax um, on the cards as well. It's a 5% tax, so just remember that. Um, it will be depending on, you know, what you're um, on and stuff. Just, you know, ex do the maths and stuff as well. Um, I think it's divided by 100, multiplied by 5, whatever it is. So say it was um, 99K, you divide by 100, multiply by 5, you'll find the tax of it as well, minus it off, and that's how much tax we'll have as well on the cards. This is struggling to get to the end. I'll be back in a second when I get to the end, but uh, just, just don't want it to take too long. 
So yes, yeah, so there we as we are coming to the end of this as well, um, towards the fifty fourth minute or whatever. If you are new around here, boys, would be very much appreciated if you hit the, hit the subscribe button. Um, also, um, leave a like on the video as well and stuff. Smash boys ten likes in this video. I'll be absolutely buzzing. Um, six pm content stream as well later on. Depending on when you're watching this video, but every single day, boys, we're trying to get six pm content out for you as well. Uh, but yeah, getting to the last few minutes and stuff as well. Road to six hundred subs. Like I said, it would be very much appreciated. Join the Discord as well. Links in the description down below on that if you want to check that out as well. Brilliant community over there, boys, as well. Building a massive community. Um, and yeah, it's very, very... I really, really appreciate boys as well. Um, but yeah, 155k. We're on the 59th minute mark and stuff. As you can see, it will um, kind of refresh and stuff as well. But if you see a decent one, say you see this Ian Wright for, I don't know, 65k, go ahead, pick him up. Um, you know he's selling for 100k and things like that. Just kind of know the icons as well. The more you do these methods and stuff as well, the more you will actually make on them. That cafu could actually be a decent price. Never mind, that's not great. Uh, 315, um, he's selling for there as well. Paul Scholes, um, Larson for 96. No, nah, that's not good either. Again, I don't really know the price of icons. I don't have enough coins to do icon trading at the moment. If I was to recommend the amount of coins you should have for this, roughly in and around um, 200k is decent to start with. But to be comfortable, you kind of want about half a million. Um, four to 500,000 coins would be kind of my recommendation um, when it comes to icons trading and stuff. These ones are all in the hour mark as well. 93k for Vieri. Again, that 87 could be decent, I suppose, um, depending on when you want to sell it as well. But if you want an instant profit and stuff, that is not the one that you want to be doing. Again, try and just undercut them as well. You want to be getting them for lower prices. Um, and yeah, that's the, basically the second method. What I would call that one is just the regular sniping one. Um, the compare price one was the first one. That is the regular sniping one, boys. We're going to get into a bidding one. I'll be back in one second. So yes, lads, the third method is going to be the bidding method one. Um, again, this one is probably the most manageable if you have a lower coin balance. Um, kind of depends on where you are at. If you have about 400k, um, obviously the first and second one will be good for you as well. But if you have about 100k to 200k, um, this one could be the one for you as well. It is a decent one as well when it comes to bidding. But yeah, basically you want to put in, say you had a 120k budget. You put in your 120k max bid. You put 15 million on the max buy now. Um, and yeah, you just literally go down like that. Basically, you will see all these ones pop up. If you think JJ Kotcha 92k is a bit of a steal, yeah, considering he's selling at 105 or so, that 92k, if you go ahead and bid on that, if you get him for 92k, you can sell him for like 107 with a hunter, which is very, very good. Um, that would be a good um, bid if you could actually go ahead and do that. Again, that Inzaghi doesn't look like a great one. Just being selective, boys, as well. Be smart with it. When you have coins, be smart with it. It's the exact same with money and stuff as well. Just keep, um, you know, keep total um, how, where everything's going, expenditures. If you don't take this game seriously and stuff as well, I get that as well. That is perfectly fine. But yeah, if you see this Nakata for 87 and 88, it just isn't worth it. You know well it's not worth it. So be wise with your money and with your coins as well. Um, that would be my most important tip as well and stuff. But yeah, if you see any good bidding um, opportunities, this Litman in for 149, um, that is his prime as well. If you can go ahead, I don't know where he's just gone now. But yeah, that was a very, very good snipe that would have been on a Litman in. Prime Litman in, here we go. That would have been a good snipe or a good bid as well. 102K, considering he's selling for about 148 130 even or something like that you would make some decent profit if you went ahead and picked that up considering um it isn't a brilliant card and stuff as well if you list that over late night um lazy buyers and stuff when people aren't on the market as much um, especially when you're up to sleep that is the main tip as well um when sell them when you're up to sleep and stuff as well a lot of like other countries and stuff as well um will go ahead and pick them up um when europe are asleep and stuff as well for over the price of when they usually sell because there's more demand um when europe are on the market and stuff as well when people are asleep, more than likely things tend to sell for a bit more. Um, but yeah, if you could pick that Litman up, that would have been a good snipe as well. Um, and yeah, it's just about being smart with it, boys, as well. Say you had a 230k budget, I don't know. I'm making up random figures now, but yeah. Depending on your budget, you just put it in there. If you want to only, if you only want to spend up to 80k, say, on them, you can definitely put in 80k as well. Um, I got a Puyol one day there for like 50-something k, um, and he sold for like 90-something. So it was crazy profit on the bid as well. It was just kind of when um, a good time could be as well when less people are on the game. So um, early in the morning, um, really late at night. Kind of depends um, when, you're, when you're playing the game most, more so and stuff as well. But yeah, this Hadji at... Okay, if you could pick up that Hadji at 60-something K. I know there's 30 minutes left, but if you just literally add that to your transfer list. I don't know where I've just gone there. <laughs> Where's this Hadji gone again? He's gone on me, has he? Again, boys, really apologize for that. I don't know where Hadji's just gone. But yeah, just add them to your transfer list and stuff as well. Um, and yeah, you can definitely just hold them there. Come back in 30 minutes, play a game, put a timer on your phone, make some breakfast, make some lunch or something like that. 
come back to it um, and yeah, go ahead and bid on them or something as well. But yeah, the boys, that is probably going to wrap up today's video on sniping filters and stuff. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up, like I said, on the road to 600 subs as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here as well for daily FIFA content, FIFA content and all that good stuff as well. Join the Discord, link in the description down below. If you have any questions, further questions on anything, squad builders you want me to build, leave them in the comment section down below. But without further ado, boys, that's going to be it for me. I'm out. Peace.